on a road far from home. But you don't have to feel alone, brave and strong. Together we will be. It's our destiny. I can't sing. I gotta stop. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Play Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. Last time I said we were going to Needle Rock Island and Ink or Isle. Excuse me. Is this an island or Isle? This is an Isle. Future self, would you be so kind as to put on screen what the difference between an Isle and an Island is? Yeah. Thank you, dude. So, this is where it is. In case you forgot. The Triforce chart is actually not on the island, but I'm going to go ahead and take some time to kill this bird! Die! Didn't mean to give you the cold shoulder there, but, uh, you were just hot on my tails. You looked like you needed to cool off. Oh, chill, man. Just chill. Now, the reason I came here is because there's a, a thorny-looking chest that's surrounded by fire, and, uh, as we all know, we can't... Link can't, uh, walk through fire. You know, he can't handle that, that ring of fire. You know, because he, he fell into a bunning ring of fire. Don't you dare start parodying songs, boy. It's too early for that. While you're here on this island, there's a couple of things to do. One of them is we get out the Hoye pear. And a seagull will snatch it. Well, naturally, if you're on an island where seagulls are flying around, you can do this. But the reason we want to do this is at the very, very top of this needle ish column is going to be a switch similar to the one that we s similar to the ones we saw on Bird's Peak Rock and also the one we saw on the Forest Haven when we were trying to activate the switch that would otherwise allow us access to the Nintendo Gallery. However, instead of opening up a gate or opening up a hatch for the uh, Nintendo Gallery, it simply in this case when we do this, it causes the ring of fire to disappear. I gotta stop saying a ring of saying ring of fire because I'm gonna want to sing Johnny Cash. Alright, let's go and do this. I think that'll lead them down here. I know it's probably dumb to lead the Kargorex down to Link, but you know, it's kind of fun killing these guys. They sound like a cat when they die, just about a really possessed, angry cat. Like he accidentally stepped on his tail and it's like Like I don't know if any of you have ever had a cat do that to you, but I have, and they're, they're pretty scary, but they're funny sometimes, too. Look what I got, world! It's a piece of heart! Jeez, man, it sounds so cruel to cats, though. Gotta show some love for the cats, man. Show some love. Alrighty. Let's see what's next. Let's go over here where this ice block is. We got fire arrows, so let's, uh, use them. Boom! Flame on! Is there anything else on this island? Actually, you know what? There is one other thing I need to get. It's kind of a minor detail, and I could totally skip out on it, but, you know, if it's here and I can get it, let's just get the frickin' thing. There's a blue chew, yes. Let's just go ahead and use an arrow, since I don't feel like getting the boomerang out and all that good stuff. Because you don't need to use the... I mean, you could just use the grappling hook to grab the blue chew jelly from them, from the blue chew chews, then just completely ignore them, but... I don't know, it just it seems more efficient just to go ahead and kill him and then, you know, get the blue chew jelly that way. Call me sadistic, if you will, but that's just the way I feel. Anyway, while we're down here, we actually have a little challenge. To the living, light the six torches and dive down to the sea floor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in darkness. Ooh, poetic and so delicious sounding. So, the challenge here is we gotta light these six torches. We got the one in front of us, that's an easy one to find. There is a second torch right up there where the uh, catapult is. I was going to say where the steering wheel of the boat, the ship is, but nope. That's not where that's at. The third one, actually we need to go this way, closer to the ship on the right. Aim up and there should be a third torch just atop there. Okay. The fourth torch is actually through the gate. This can be kind of a tricky if you're not angled properly, so let's go ahead and uh, try to aim and bam, light that up. The four, the fifth torch is actually we got to be up close a little bit, and we have to shoot through not just one fence, but two fences, so hut! Awesome. So far, so good. I'm going to miss this last shot, though, probably, because this one's a bit tricky. The last and final torch, or the sixth torch, if you prefer me to number it, that's fine, I'll numerically number it for you. Right up in the crow's nest in another ship, there's a torch right off in the distance. I don't know how it's showing up on the capture card. It probably looks like a blur. 
But just trust me, there is a torch up there. And for doing that, this is our reward. A chest. I'm telling you, man, we got plenty of bosoms to touch here. Look what I got, world! It's an orange rupee. Link is just beaming with delight. Eee, mine is, my face is too. My face is beaming. Because I'm just in such a good mood. We're almost done! Yeah! And I'm sitting here bouncing up and down. You probably hear the chair squeak. It's like, oh, well, oh, oh. The chair's like, say it. Stop it! Stop it! I don't need your 300-something pound self to be doing that. Yeah, I know. Gasp. <gasps> you weigh 300 pounds? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I kind of need to drop that down, actually. I mean, it's not like... If you saw me, you would definitely say, he's got a little bit of a gut, but he's not, like, obese or anything. But I do wish to shed some poundage, and I'm hoping, you know, once I get my life... Along with, you know, the plan to get my life back on track, one of those goals mine includes exercising more and, of course, shedding some pounds, because I really would like to get back to... I know this sounds weird to some of you, because you're like... That sounds like a little goal, but I want to get down to 280, 280 pounds. And it's because that's where I used to be when I was in uh, my community college. That's about where my weight range was. And then from there, I'll try to shoot for... Wow, I'm going the wrong dang way. Go the wrong way again! Hello! Then from 280, then I'll go ahead... From 280 pounds, I will then probably give myself a new goal where I'm like, Okay, let's see if we can't drop down a little more. I don't actually know, like, how far down I want to go. I mean, the sky is the limit when you get right down to it, but... Excuse me, I, I prefer not to, like, say, Oh, well, I'm going to get down to 200 pounds, and it's like... If I go see a doctor and he's like, Yeah, no, mm-mm. If you do that, you were underweight, good sir. Of course, then again, it's really hard to, like, be on the weight... Or be in the weight range that you're supposed to technically be at, according to, you know, you whatever the doctor says, statistically speaking, for your body build, that's where you should be. And I'm not saying we all have to, like, shoot for that 100% completely perfection every time, but you probably want to be try, try to be as close as you can so you can be healthy, you know? Because, uh, well, it may seem like sometimes it's like, oh, what's the point? This world is just cruel, man. It, it, who cares if I am a little unhealthy now, you know? Eh, trust me. You'd be surprised if you can give yourself a little extra time by being a little healthier, you know, with your choices in life, I guess. I've already made some mistakes here and there, but thankfully, one of those mistakes wasn't, like, picking up, like, a bad, like a, well, not a bad habit, but picking up, like, smoking or drinking, you know? Anyway, why am I talking about this? We are over here because we need to blast these gunboats. Hey, it's golden! Ah, so that's what that incredible chart was insinuating. Yes, we need to blast this golden ship and look at the cutscene. Oh, yes. And where's... Oh, I was going to say, where's Link? <laughs> that was weird. A little cutscene of him flying clean off. Frozen in midair. It's like the Matrix, man. Ooh. I gotta watch that movie again sometime. Somebody mentioned to me... I think... I can't remember who it was. Oh, no, I know who it was. He knows who he was, too. He probably doesn't watch these, though. But, um... Somebody was mentioning to me saying obnoxious it is nowadays to watch that because they, like, narrate everything they're gonna do instead of letting the imagination take control. But I don't know. I, I still think it's a pretty good movie. Look what I got, world! It's the fifth purple chart. We still can't read it. So eventually we'll have to decipher it. Lee. Bummer. Seriously. Lee. Bummer, man! Not bummer, man, mind you. Why am I going in a circle? It's because I don't want to change the wind direction. Ugh. Alright, back to east we go. That way we can go ahead and get the other chart, uh, treasures that were left behind. Yes, I would advise you to do this. The other gunships that were out here, it doesn't matter particular. It, there isn't like a specific location, if you will. It's wherever you destroy the gunships, or the gunboats. I keep saying gunships. They're not ships, they're boats, dude. Whenever you destroy these gunboats out here, they will leave behind a pretty nice reward. I think one of them gives you 50 rupees, and the other is going to give us like 100. Or maybe it's 100 and 200. Either way, we're getting a lot of rupees, so why not? Look what I got, world! It's a hundred rupees. My face is Bayman. Mmm. -hmm. Man, my, my cheek muscles are going to be sore by the end of this Let's Play. I'm telling you. What are we on, like, part 80-something? And I've my face must have beamed at least 50 times within that amount of time. Not to say that that's happened every time. Or not to say that that's the amount of times exactly, but I'm just guessing blindly. Alright, so what is this? This is probably... 200! Yes! 
I want to give I want to give myself a reason to jump for joy. Come on, man. Come on. <sighs> Look what I got rolled. I don't get to jump for joy. But it's 50 rupees. That's just great. Yes. <laughs> Look how Link's face so cheery. He smiles each time he picks up the like the treasure out of the box, you know. So we got our fifth try first chart, and I could start working on the sixth one, but Ooh, uh, that's the sign for saying the sixth one's going to be a real biatch to do. Not to try and cuss here, but yeah, that's kind of my sly way of saying it's going to be a doozy. And the reason it is going to be a doozy is because the sixth Triforce chart is going to be on Outset Island, actually, which I can immediately tell that by looking at it on the bottom. The first row from the bottom, second column, or if you prefer, let me look at the mop. The mop. The mop, yes. we got to mop our way here. No. The map. Outside Island. Yes. we got to go back here. And there's going to be one other reason we have to come back here, but I'm just going to take care of one of those reasons. Because the Triforce chart is going to be there, but I'm going to save that for its own video. And I know it's so far it's been, like, cliche, because we've essentially saved a Triforce chart per a video. But I feel like, yeah, that's kind of a good pacing, you know? Instead of trying to cram two Triforce charts per video, why not just make each one of them their own, and I, that will give me room to kind of fart around, and anyway, I, excuse me, I should probably cut away, but I haven't taken time to explain what the heck it is I'm doing. I'm going to take care of a little side quest, and then we'll end off our journey here. Um, you may remember we went and bought a bunch of expensive stuff at Rockspire Isle, which is actually north of Greatfish Isle, which is why I warped here. But while we're here... There, is, there are three platforms, which I hopefully will find something more helpful than a skull necklace or a gold feather. There is a heart piece, a piece of heart we can pick up while we're here, which is kind of nice since we already picked one up earlier, and we can pick up a second one. That'd be nice. And there's also the Rockspire Isle itself that we need to visit. So, I will meet you guys near Rockspire Isle because we have a lot of crap to do here. So, let's get to it. Platforms! Oh! So here we are, guys and gals. We are at, or we are near, I should say, Rockspar Isle. And we have some platforms we get to explore here. Ooh, goody! Yay! I love exploring these. Even if I have to, like, fast-forward it later. Ugh. Hopefully I won't have to. Ugh, gosh. Ugh, excuse me. That just means more work for later, and while I do enjoy a little spicy editing... A little too much Tabasco sauce can go a long way, just saying. It can ruin the dish for me. By the way, do I have enough joy pendants while I'm thinking about it? Oh yeah, we got plenty. I don't need to worry about getting any more of those. So I think we only need 20 more for the last, pri last prize you can get from Mrs. Mary. If I'm wrong, my mistake. I will uh, pay for it later, but for now, let's just go ahead and kill all the Baka Blends here. And uh, if you haven't been fighting a whole lot of monsters up to this point, Say, go ahead and take some time to practice. Practice fighting them, because you're going to want to. Look what I got rolled. It's a pleasant surprise. Otherwise known as 20 rupees. Oh, so delectable. Yep. Well, while that's nice and dandy, I bet you we will get something even nicer if we travel to one of the other platforms. Which, by the way, do not have ladders, in case you didn't notice that. So, we're going to have to get creative on how we do that. Meaning, we're going to need to, A, change the wind direction in our favorable, desirable, Oh, so lovely direction that we needed to go in. We need the Deku Leaf. And we need to wait for that Cyclone to wrap around, so let's wait a little bit. Okay, this is about good. This is about as good as any. So jump! Deku Leaf! And use the Cyclone! Whoosh! And try not to get blasted away by the cannons here. Oh, look at that. One of those idiot cannons just blasted itself clean off. Oh my gosh! Link. Thank you for not skipping out on arm day, because you got some serious upper body strength to be able to do that. Get out of here! Oh, okay, I thought he was going to fall off. Go away! It didn't happen again, huh. I guess I'll just have to kill you then. I mean, as wrong and sadistic as that sounds. Hmm, no chest. This is unacceptable. I say we go ahead and blast these cannons. There's one. Uh, the second one already killed itself. There's three, and number four is right over here. Booyah. And upon doing this, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Stop asking that question. I already heard you the first time. You stupid parrot. 
Oh, they want a cracker! Look what I got, world! It's definitely worth it. A hundred rupees. Yee! My cheek muscles are so sore because my face is baming! Alright, so back to the main little uh, platform over there. I almost said hut. Okie dokie. So we went west. Let's go east. East? I thought you said weast. Weast? What kind of compass are you reading, lad? This one, sir. That's west, Patrick. You're fired. Ah, classic references. They never get old. Actually, they probably do get quite old for some of you who are like, Oh, why do you keep referencing that horrible show? I know somebody's probably thinking, like, Blasphemy, who would say such a thing? Well, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people out there that are like, Ugh, I hate that show. And it's not to say they're like, Oh, well, they have poopy taste. No, that just not, it just means that they happen to be unique in their flavor. You know, they may like certain flavors of shows that... Well, you otherwise are thinking like, eh, that's a rate B show, but for some reason it just reaches out to them more, you know? Trust me, you're, you're, this is coming from somebody who's 25 years of age and it's taken that long. Look what I got, world! It's a golden feather. Yeah, it's taken me, well, maybe not this long necessarily, but it's taken me a quite a while to learn that harsh lesson, harsh reality, if you will, that, well, even if a show is liked by the majority, there's bound to be some people out there who aren't just hating to be hating or to be, uh, what's known as, like, oh, I'm too cool for that. I want to go against the crowd, you know? I want to be the ice-cold one that's like, no, that, that show's crap, and I'm just saying this because I want to be against it, because there are people who are, I don't want to say tools, but they are pe there are people out there who just, they purposely dislike or try to say they dislike something because they want to be unique and different. It's fine if you want to be unique, but, you know, you shouldn't let the fact that, oh, because something is very popular, you should, you know, automatically assume it must be crap. Not necessarily something you should adopt. But it's also not to say that, oh, I don't really like this. I tried it. I really, really did give it my all to, you know, show some enjoyment and see the joy, and I could see some positives, but I just can't see myself really liking this show. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. And I know some people would say, oh, well, they should be... They, they should actually... I don't know why I'm still talking and I need to freaking... Ugh. I'm still talking because I wasn't finished with my thought. There's some people that'll probably be a little, um... How shall I say? Ugh. Overbearing's the best way to describe it in a nice way. Because they're like, how dare you dislike the show? You just don't understand the beauty of it. You'll taste all about the... About that of a pinch of salt, and I can't think of anything, really. But I do realize there are some people out there who are like that, so... Yeah. So it's not to say that, you know, it's bad ha to not like something that a majority of fans like. Because you wouldn't be a human if you didn't have an opinion, but I guess what I'm saying is... Just don't be the type where... Well... Everybody likes it, so it must be crap. Don't be a type that assumes that. Be Not just because it's like it makes you seem like you're really rude or mean or disrespectful to a people who to a something that people like. Look what I got, world! My face is going to be so sore because I'm beaming again. It's more so that you rob yourself of an experience. I feel that's the way I look at it. Like if you don't genuinely give something a good solid try, or you decide to like never view something again and. You might find out later that, hey, maybe this wasn't so bad. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just, I'm taking this subject too far, really, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. It's because I'm, I'm just awkward as hell. I swear to goodness. That's straight up what it is, is I, I can't, I cannot have a conversation that's deep and meaningful with you all without either rambling or saying like three words and then burping or doing something just obnoxious and disgusting. Anyway, upon killing these gunboats, one of them was a hundred rupees via salvaging it using the grappling hook. The other one, I think, is the prize we are looking for, actually. And that is... Look what we got, world. It is yet another piece of heart. That leaves us with two more to collect before we complete yet another heart container. Within the next few videos, that shouldn't be too bad of a... or shouldn't be too hard of a task, actually, because I can think of a few side quest stuff we're going to have to do. This is too slow. All right. That's more like it. Let's put it in the direction that we're actually traveling in. Ugh. I can't tell you which 
which like song I've played more. I think I've played the Wind's Re Requiem more times than I've played the Ballad of Gales, but heck if I know. Well, actually, if you think about it, because we're not in the HD remake version, which <laughs> to those who are bragging about it in the comments saying, haha, I don't have to change the wind direction like you do. I just got the second upgrade, sa the sales second upgrade. Yes, for those who don't know who have played only the version that I'm playing right now, which is the GameCube version of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, in the HD remake on the Wii U, there is actually a sale you can eventually pick up later that lets you push, use the sale a second time or push the button again, and the wind direction will automatically change to a favorable, to the direction you happen to be traveling in, which is very nice. In fact, actually, no, actually, you know what it is? You use the sail a second time, so you can use the advanced sail or whatever, and whichever direction you're traveling in, the wind will always be tra blowing behind you. Kind of like these bombs here, they're blowing these rocks sky high. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? And yeah. Whereas in this game, we don't have that. We do not have a sail upgrade that lets us control the wind via just using a, a really fancy schmancy looking sail. Let me think. What is zip zip zip? Ah, never mind, just shut up with your sound effects and trying to question why you make these sound effects. And just go ahead and get this blue chew. How many does that make, actually? Do we have enough for the item? Yeah! Alright, cool. We can actually, if we wanted to, stop off on Windfall Island. And I think we have enough to pick up a deliciously delectable blue potion, which will then unlock blue potion for sale. Ooh. Wait. Do I? No, okay. I don't need to get out the fire arrows because we got sticks! Sticks, I tell ya! Yeah, alright, so all we gotta do is Legend of Zelda 101. Light the torches and... Oh! Oh, that's great. Thank you, yes. That's fantastic. Yes, give me a bunch of keys I have to fight. If I do this without taking any hits, I'm going to be amazed. Seriously. Wow. Seriously? No hits yet? Watch this, I'm gonna jinx myself. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I'm going to take a hit. Yep, that, see? I took a quarter of hearts worth of damage, not taking a half a heart. I don't know what it is. Keys are just... They're experts in this game as far as going after Link because they're just, for one, they're wing beast creatures. So they're not exactly easy to fight. Well, they're, they are easy to kill. But in terms of, like, fighting on equal grounds, they're kind of dangerous, you know, when you get right down to it. Especially when they come in large numbers like that. But anyway, upon doing that, we actually get, I think, another treasure chart. I don't know, maybe it's one of those special charts that I keep, like, making mention of. I don't know. Look what I got rolled. It's not what I was looking for. But it's a treasure chart, so I'll let it pass. I'll let it slide. Especially since Link is smiling about it. Look at that. His jaw's open and everything. Alrighty, so I think we've done enough farting around and I've done enough rambling to make you guys fall asleep and cure your insomnia, if you had any. Next time we meet, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to head back to Outset Island, which is down here. That's where our home island was, in case some of you forgot. Because there is yet another Triforce chart, and this one, as I said before, bleh, it's a doozy. It's fun if you like fighting, but it, oh, it is going to take me a while. So, that being said, see you guys and gals next time. Peace!